Hey up everybody! Okay then I'm just on the next part of my cylinder videos that I'm doing. Um, in the last part then I put this radius on and the part before that I bore them out and made them all to size. So in this part then I'm going to I'm going to mark out the positions for the ports and uh, get them milled in and then uh, what else is there to do? There's the exhaust port to put in and then there's the compound angle for the steam passageways to each end of the bore so I don't know how far I'll get but uh, I'll make a start then and we'll crack on with this I'll just have a quick overview of what I'm going to do then I've got to put these three uh, ports in two for the inlet and the middle ones for the exhaust then on the opposite face I've got to put the exhaust port in which intersects intersects with that middle one and then after that then I've got to put these uh, compound angled steam passageways that go from the front of each bore up to each of these inlet ports there. Then I've got to uh, I've got to put all the holes in for the fixing points on the frame and then I've got to put the holes in the each end to get the cylinder covers mounted but I won't be doing that until I've made the actual covers then I can uh, I can drill drill the hole centers for my covers and transfer them onto the casting
Well that's my exhaust ports completed and my inlet ports. I've just got the steam passageways to put in from the bore to the inlet ports on that compound angle. Uh, which I, I used this block in me, when I did my meter made. I made this simple block up to make that compound angle up. I'll show you that in the next video. But I will say this. Uh, I may not have gone into as much detail doing these as I did with my meter made videos when I made when I built my meter made loco. They're, they're exactly the same cylinders. So if uh, if I've not gone into as much detail or you think there's something I've missed, I'm sure it'll be in my other video on the meter made and I'll put a link to that in this in the description of this video. So uh, in next next part then I've got to continue with these steam passages and I've got to make me covers to get the uh, hole centers to to put me uh, holes in the casting for for the cylinders etc and I'll continue with that next so uh, if you found that useful informative and interesting uh, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe I'd appreciate that and I'll catch you next time then thanks for watching Bye for now.